that. Be cloned. I didn't do a very good job with the size of this building, if I'm going to be honest. Alright, everybody, welcome to Prison Architect. That's right. Bam, I'm going to start a new series just like that, that you didn't even see it coming. So we're just going to go right in. New update, I also have the DLC that came out. So we're going to create a Prison. We're going to go with Periwinkle, because why not? And then we have dogs now as well. So let's see what we got. We got the classic guard dog, companion, husky, I guess he's better in snow. It doesn't really say anything about them, I think they're purely cosmetic. We have cats, because not everyone's a dog person, and we have dire wolf, who would try to escape. You know, I'm going husky, just because I like huskies, and I know it's probably the least optimal choice. We're going to do a medium prison, um, fog of war on... I don't want to do any specific plots. We're going to have forests on because trees are money. Um, no lakes, no buildings. I'm not going to do failure conditions. Yeah, we'll keep insane guys on and we'll do events and temperature and staff needs and escape plans. Uh, okay, I'm not going to do gangs though. I'm going to do everything else though, but no gangs <laughs> and no failure conditions. I don't want to do that. What's warden mode? Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, mutators. I think that's good. So we're just going to stick with slow deliveries. Everything you buy needs to arrive via truck. I am perfectly okay with that. Alright, so we've got male prison, periwinkle with the tunnels. We've got the huskies. And pretty much everything except gangs. So let's play. Bam. Alright, so here is our plot, and also, before we get into things, I do have some mods. Nothing much really, but we've got clear need icons, we got more grants, the music intro is supposed to be muted, but that doesn't work, so we just pretend that doesn't happen. We've got checkpoints, uh, staff food profit, because I'm a cheater and I don't like paying for staff food, um, planning mod, big jail doors, bookcases, tons of floors. Tons of floors, we got office chairs, we've got faster workmen, snitch sorter, recycling program, and better clock. Awesome. Now I'm going to go into the options setting and turn the music back up. Alright, so let's get some planning done, huh? So what are we gonna do? I have no idea. So let's let's consider what we gotta do. So we gotta have an entranceway. So I'm thinking I'm thinking if we make the deliveries there, then we can make this, because now this is a four wide, so we can have a two wide front door. So we're going to have a two wide front door, just for, just because why not? Um, we're not going to immediately have um, reception, in fact... I think we're going to have a bit of a hallway first before we have the actual reception, which will be here. And I know I'm probably building way too big to start with. But if we're going to have a lot of people coming in, we got to have that jumbo-sized reception. And here's the cool thing about this rooms. I can look at reception, and I can plan a reception space. It's not actually a room. But it does tell me what I want it to be, which is very, very helpful for trying to figure out what you want to do. Alright, so, there's that. We're going to need power. Probably going to be down here somewhere. Maybe off the entrance hallway, but also, probably more likely, going to be its own area, because we don't want to do that. So it needs a 3x3 three three space, which would be that. So if we do this... That's not gonna. That's not right. We need a three by three. All right, there we go. Okay, that's the size of one of the rooms. Um, maybe we'll push it back a little bit. Snug it up against the wall here. One, two, three gap because we need a capacitor. All right, and we'll have this hallway here. And that will connect up the capacitor and the first water room, which only needs to be 
three. Because you don't need to worry about other stuff. So we can have... I don't need two. We'll do this. And this will be the first... Alright, so that's that's that room. That'll be the power, so we can actually... That'll be a wise foundation to start with. Requires entrance. Uh, I can never remember where doors are in this game. Alright, staff door. There. So we're going to start with that as our first... Oh, look at the size of this deck. What was I looking at? There was like something... Oh yeah, here we go. A whole bunch of construction frame. Alright, so, we've got that set up. Let's do some more planning. So, reception's here. You're going to come in. Um, exit. We're going to have the exit here into a three-wide hallway, which is going to stretch. Because we want to make this super secure. Minimum security is going to be up at the front with the protected security. Then we're going to have medium security. Then it's max and super max is going to be in the back. And then the escape dudes are going to be... The insane dudes are going to be smack in the middle so that they have the farthest to go to get out because they're going to be the most likely to try and escape. So that being said, I need to turn off intake. Closed. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Prisoner transfer. I forgot that was a new thing. So we can transfer specific prisoners and now it actually counts as part of our, in our intake there. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we're going to start with some minimum and medium security, which are going to be top and bottom here. Probably minimum and medium here, so we'll type... Medium. So that's medium, and this will be min. So that's super max, and then... Insane. <laughs> so that's the layout. Um, are you guys going to hurry up and build this foundation already? Jeez. All the stuff is here. There we go. Now they're building it. Alright, we're going to slow that down a bit. So if we're going to have minimum and medium, we're going to start with medium because that gives us more money. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to make this one wider, like that, and we will have our medium security corridor. All the medium security stuff will be going on up here. Uh, all the all the cells. We're gonna have the cells probably on the left side, and then the services on the right side. So, that being said, we will probably make our first cell block area right here. Actually, actually. So what we're gonna do. We're gonna continue this, and we're gonna have the classic cell size of three by two. So that's the cell size, like that. See, we make money every day just for sitting and doing nothing. So that's going to be our first cell block. We're going to need to have, uh, I need to have an office space. So we'll actually do that first. I almost totally forgot about it. Um, all right, the first foundation is in concrete wall. We're going to set up these walls here, and we are going to get the power station, the water pump, there, and we're going to have three capacitors, just like that. Um, I can get rid of the planning. Come on. What a... Stop it. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we need to quick and easy make these offices. Offices are probably going to be off this first hallway as well, right here. I'm thinking we're going to actually make this a little bit larger, like that. Alright, so these are the offices here. Offices need to be 5x5, five five if I'm not mistaken. Um, rooms, office, 4x4, four four. They did they change that or is that always what it's been? Alright, oh, whoops. All right, so it needs to be four by four. Which means we could probably... No, I don't want to squish anything. We're going to leave it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, these are going to be the offices here. Uh, we're not going to touch that corner. So we're going to... 
do this for now. So let's get some of these foundations in as well. Um, these guys can have the awesome brick foundation. Ah, auto lights, damn. Okay, turn that off quick. <laughs> I left auto lights on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Okay, well luckily they only put down two lights in this room, so we're good there. Then we'll have to see if they plop any lights in here like idiots. I really would have appreciated it if they didn't. Alright, what do we got? Alright, we've got... No auto lights. Alright, we successfully successfully did that. Uh, we want brick wall. Alright, um, so I want double jail door. Three wide. Large jail door. That's the one I want. You'll put this one right here. Oh, whoops. I just immediately cancelled my door. Try that again. That. I wanted to... Walls. Demolish walls. Demolish those walls, please. And we're going to need... We're going to need some concrete walls. There. And there. And we're going to need some brick walls here. No root. Um, what about that? You gonna build? Okay, that worked. Demolish walls. Get those dead. Need more office. This whole space is office. You can't get in because I didn't build a door. Shit! I thought something was wrong. Large jail door. There. Uh, staff door. We're gonna need a staff door here. Put one here, and one uh, here and here. Okay. Problem solved. Build the doors. Quick, build the doors. Boss's office. Look at this. Boss gets a desk smack in the middle. Office chair. Filing cabinets. We're going to have some regular chairs as well if you have to, like, talk with the boss. Um, boss needs some books. Obviously, the boss has to be as entertained as possible. Where do we got books? Boss gets a TV. Obviously, boss gets a TV. Boss gets a TV right here. He can watch TV from his desk. He gets a radio as well. Right there. And I need to find the books. Where's the books? Shelf. There we go. Boss gets his books. There we go. Alright, same with you. You also need an office chair. Office desk. And some filing cabinets. Office desk. Office chair. Alright. And we're also going to get some flooring for you guys. What do you want for flooring? We got all kinds of carpets, we got wooden floors. Let's... So this is going to be the boss. And because I'm the boss, the boss demands blue carpet. So we're going to do that. Accounting. Um, this is accounting, so we'll give you some red carpets. And another two filing cabinets, because it's obviously going to be accounting. And then for this guy up here, um, and the rest, I guess, they can all get brown carpet. And we will have... Fancy wood floor all the way up there. 
Alright, so that's those guys all set up. We need some utilities for power. Um, we need to connect those. And we can run this power straight up here. Pop in there. Pop in here. That'll be all that powered. Alright, water is not yet an issue, but we can hire our staff now. Uh, Burden. Alright, now we can finally, if I can remember where it is, bureaucracy. Let's do some practicing. So the first one we want is finance. Required office. He has an office. He's in it. Office chair. Oh, he's installing it right now. Okay, we're good. Get that installed. Okay, now we can start working. And that means we can get grants. So if we come over to grants down here. Oh, look at that. Money for installing the grant mod. <laughs> Alright, so we need this one. And I think that's the one we start with. Alright, so that's just going to be two offices, warden, finance, accountant. So we've already got the offices and the warden. So we just need to unlock finance, which we're on our way to, and hire the accountant. Alright. Build. My minions. While we're at it, let's plan out the canteen as well, which is probably going to go in here. So, the tables are 4x4, four four, I believe. Not 4x4, 2x4. 3x4. Four, three, so yeah. I was right. Three by four, if you're going to have the seats. So, we're going to have a gap. Four, table, seat. Four, table, seat. Um, this is actually really nice. So, if this is our canteen, we can have serving trays here, which I believe are four wide. We can get rid of that. So this will be our starting canteen size. Maybe I'll actually skimp down on that a bit. So this will be the canteen then. Which means we'll need to have... That. And we will have more serving trays here. Maybe I'll not make that a serving tray area. But I'll do... No. We're going to have just the serving trays there, and there can be, like, phone booths or something along the wall. Alright, so that's that. So we can get that building done next. So we're going to have that, and that. And, now that this area is all built up, we can put down some concrete walls... Alright, concrete walls are down. We don't want anyone escaping, so we're gotta make we gotta make as many doors going out. So we've already got one, two, three, four doors, five doors between the cell and the yard to the rest of the outdoors, so that's good. We're gonna need lights though, because if there's no lights you can't see. And that's not good. So we're gonna have a light there and there. And um there and there, for now. And then we can maybe work on that as we go. So, what do we have? We have that. We need to hire an accountant now. Accountant gets the red office. No, oh, for... Alright. No longer an office. Get out. This is your office. Thank you. Jeez. Little pig trying to steal someone else's office. Alright. We can come into bureaucracy now and we'll do something else. Um, I think finance person will start on bank loan and warden will start on maintenance. And I think we have more grants we can get now. Build six metal detectors. I can do that one. Um, staff room and guards. So we'll do these two for now. So we've got to build six metal detectors. Good thing we were going to do that. 
Ob <laughs> oh my god. I just searched object in the object menu. Alright, so metal detectors. Um, we're going to have everybody searched when they come through. We're also going to have to have one here at that door. And one in front of the cell door. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We need a sixth one. Um, well, we're going to need an entrance for the canteen. Now that I think about it. We're going to just have regular doors. Where, where's... Oh, doors. I keep forgetting that doors aren't in the object menu anymore. Alright. We're going to do that. And then we're going to have the metal detectors. Right in... Right on the outside, actually. And I got the grant for the metal detectors. That was easy peasy. Alright. Reception room can actually be the reception room now. So we're going to actually make that reception now. We need office desk, table, chair. Alright, so... When you come into reception, you are going to be greeted <laughs> right up front. Um, we need the office, office chair as well, I would like to have. Very much please, thank you. Where is the office chair? office chair. We can have some regular chairs right along there and we're going to need some tables as well because we need to have spaces for the uh, robes as we'll call them. They can be there and there. And that is our reception. It looks incredibly poor. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that one in option. Instead, we're going to use a small table because it looks better. Like that. Maybe we'll just not have a table there at all. Okay. This is good. That's my reception. Um, cells. Lots of powers needed. Let's run this cable. Straight to there. Straight to there. We'll run it there as well. What are you doing way down there? <laughs> okay. We need a staff room. I almost forgot about that. We can have a staff room over here somewhere. Let's build a little too wide hallway jutting off that way and up there. And then we can have the staff room right squished in here somewhere. That'll work. Alright, so we're almost done. We need everything else, basically. So. We need a kitchen. Kitchen can probably go squeeze right. Actually, I wanted, ki I wanted to have the kitchen down here, which will need staff doors. In the future event that we ever get people working in the kitchen, we can instead do that. All right, this is looking pretty good so far. We have 60000 in the bank. We're making $1,000 every day. <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything. So let's design some of these cells, huh? We need to have a bed a bed. Um, beds can be right up against the wall like that. We also need a toilet. We'll put the toilets there in the corner. Um, I think that's all you need actually. Let's check that here. Um, indoors, bed, toilet, enclosed. So that's that. That's pretty easy. We need a holding cell. Um, kind of. I mean, it's not required, but it would be nice to have one. So we're going to have a holding cell over here. Aha! This will be our holding cell. Make sure it's big enough that people don't throw a fit. Because, my god, we don't, want, we don't want that happening. That would be a disaster. Alright, these now can be cells because they are all decked out. We need to have the doors of the jail type. And we can clone these like that. No, that was bad. Try it again. <laughs> That's what I want. Alright. Alright. 
and then that be cloned. I didn't do a very good job with the size of this building, if I'm going to be honest. But that's fine. How much does that give us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. We need to have how many for the for cell block A? Because I'm going to do that next. Cell block A requires 15. We have 12. We need three more cells, so we're going to make four cells, which means we're going to need a little bit more foundation. So we have one, two, we need three, four. I believe that'll be enough, because we need one, two, three, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that's enough. We can demolish these walls. That'll be our entrance. Get moving. We have we have a prison to make. Quick build. Clone. Place. Place. Alright, that's 15 done, so we could get cell block A pretty soon. We need a canteen, which will be here. We need a kitchen, which will be right here. Um, kitchen requires fridge bin sink cooker. We will have cookers there. Fridges can be there. Sinks. Sinks can be here. Um, we don't really need more than two sinks. Maybe we'll get one more fridge and one more cooker. That will finish that up really nice. We can get some lights in here. Your canteen needs some lights as well, so we'll add those in. Perfect. And then we need tables. Here. Benches. Like that. And we need some serving tables. Which can go right there. That is the canteen. Um, I'll also include a phones booth. Or two. Maybe a whole wall of them. You know, just if they want to call while they're on their lunch, feel free. I don't mind. Um, what do we need? A serving table. We have those. They're coming. That's done. We need a shower room next. We can have our shower at the end here. So we're going to make some more concrete that will be good enough, I think. We're just gonna need some. We need some doors for this. Bam! This will be the shower. Um, staff room, because we were on that, so we'll get that working next. Staff room can just be. I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge staff room, does it? We can just do that. Maybe that. We'll do that. And we can get staff doors hooked up here. Uh, which way is... I have no idea which way is... Well, we'll just set that there and we'll see what it is. <laughs> staff room. Finish building, please. And that way I can throw this together please. Alright, staff room. If we can get some lights in the staff room, that would be fantastic. We'll just have one light for now. Alright, so that's that. In the staff room, we need a wide sofa and a drinks machine. So we can just... Here, we can do this. Double wide sofa. Let's get a TV. Large TV. No, small TV. There. We'll get a drinks machine set up. We will put them right here. 
Um, do I have anything else? We have arcade cabinets. That'll be fun. We can do that. Sure, let's have... Let's have some arcade cabinets. We can have, like, Dance Dance Revolution. Um, what else can we put in here, huh? We gotta make this entertaining. We can have some windows. Um, do we have, like... Oh, we have classy windows. Definitely putting that right back there. Look at that beautiful layout right there. Alright. This is fantastic. I'm already loving this. What else can we put in here? We can put a pool table in here. Get some of that gaming on, you know? Bam. What else can we put in here? Um, we can have a phone for the people who want to call. Because, you know, that's always nice if you want to if you wanna call someone while you're on your break. <laughs> Alright, we need... I want to actually have lamps up here. That would be really cool. So we'll have a lamp there. And we can put a plant there. That's adorable. Um, I guess staff need toilets. I think I remember hearing that somewhere. So we can always make, like, a little staff room somewhere. Um, let's see what we can do with that. Actually, you know, that would be perfect to just slide right in there. We can just have, like, a little door. Um, just a regular door right there. We need electricity up here. Like that. That's pretty easy. Um, we need to run this down there make this room a shower. We're gonna need a lot more drains, though, because that's... We can have, like, our super awesome circle of drains right over there. That should be enough to hold back the floods, right? Maybe we'll do a little bit more, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it right now. We'll make a cool design, huh? <laughs> Alright, shower room done. Um, we need two guards, two chefs, so that's pretty easy. We need electricity down here. We can make two chefs. Bam. That's done. We can get cell block A as well, I believe. Raise the prisoner capacity. So that really go, cell block A done. A staff room. Alright, what do we need? We need three wide sofas. Dang it, I didn't make three wide sofas. This is speedrun mode. Toilet. 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 There we go. Alright. Toilets. We need a sign that says this is the toilet's room. Put that right there. Walls. Tiled wall. We need to have a sink. Because there are bathroom sinks now. Bathroom sink, hand dryer, alright, and we need some uh, white tile flooring, and the break room needs to have, obviously, something really comfortable, a nice carpet of some kind, preferably. Let's go for, I saw a green carpet earlier, we can take that, green carpet. Everyone loves a green carpet, right? We need fancy wooden flooring in here. Come on, mouse. My mouse is fighting me really hard right now, and I don't know why. Alright. We just need to set up some utilities, and then we will be ready for the intake. So, we are going to pump water through the facility along the electricity pipes. We have to be careful that we don't take any of these water pipes outside, because that's conduits for passengers to travel through. So we can just run this up here. If we run that that way, that solves that problem. And if we aren't worrying too much, I think this is also a safe bet. We'll do that. That can go to there that there, that there. We can also do that. 
Ah, shit. Alright, can I not build in the power station? I can't, alright. So I'm gonna have to worm my way around then. Like that. Um, is that gonna get water is the question, and the answer is probably not. So we're gonna bring that farther down. Um, shit, this is a mess. I didn't realize how many shower heads I had installed in here. And it looks like we need one more wide sofa, I forgot. Wide sofa. No, I need a wide sofa, please. Wide sofa. Alright, that will give us... Oh, there we go, alright. So we are almost ready, actually. We get some janders to clean up this place. Alright. That's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. I'm going to make episode 2 directly after this one, so don't wait. I'll be back. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Alright, so...